Hello to everyone. My name is Giuseppe Melfi, researcher at Kalsur Institute of Technology, and I will present our work on TPAD, a mobile audio tactile system for graphic use at school with students with visual impairment. In educational environment, a lot of information is presented graphically, but students with blindness don't have access to this visual information. A possible solution is to provide a description of the graphic, but exploring graphic to discover information independently is a fundamental part of the learning process. A better solution are tactile graphics, learning materials that use raised surface, but space for including text in braille is extremely limited. This means that on the tactile graphic we have only graphic element and short labels. The textual information is moved into a key document, and the solution suffer of the fragmentation of the information. The key document can be embossed in braille or can be a digital text file read with a screen reader. To solve the problems of the previous methods, we propose a tpad. It is composed by a standard tablet, a frame to easily fix the tactile graphic on the tablet, a cross-platform mobile application and a Raspberry Pi, where runs a server with the repository for the audio tactile files and the teacher's backend. To explain how the system works, I will show you a short video. To use TPAD, the first step is to fix the frame on the tablet and to open the TPAD app. Then, we load the audio tactile graphic using the QR code. Each tactile element provided with audio description is highlighted with a short tone by the system. With a double tap, we get the description using the speech-to-text technology. In our study, we compared three different methods to explore a tactile graphic, with a braille key document, with a digital key document and with TPAD. The test was conducted with five blind students, thanks to the collaboration of Tilly Leinstein School in Stuttgart. In the user study, the participant received a tactile graphic and could explore it autonomously without time limit, but we asked the participant to be as quick and accurate as possible. After to have explored the graphic, the participant received three questions. The procedure was repeated three times, one for each method, using three different tactile graphics. Considering the average exploration time and the correct answer received, the TPAD has recorded a better performance. All the participants were in favor of the TPAD. Three students prefer TPAD because they consider the system faster. Access to visual content using tactile graphics is essential for students with visual impairment at school. With our study, we showed that audio tactile graphics are an effective teaching tool for blind students. Using TPAD, the participant acquired knowledge about a tactile graphic faster than with the other two methods considered. Thank you for your time.